So earlier this year, I had the opportunity to sit down with local Boston filmmaker Sadie Kroll as she decided to use me as her subject for her entry in the Moment Invitational Mobile Filmmaking Contest. So we sat down, we talked about my life as an artist, and this is what she made. I hope you enjoy it. Art was probably the first thing, even as a kid, that I really wanted to do. I did my master's program straight out of undergrad, and I was like, I am gonna have to find a job. I can't think of any job that I want. I start telling people, I'm like, well, I just wanna be a painter. And then I'm like, oh, I should've gone to art school. Well, I didn't, so okay, well now what? So I start Googling, and I'm like, how to be a professional painter, like how to make money with art. I start getting these ads for courses on like how to be a full-time artist, and then I start seeing like other artists who are doing it. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but now I see it's possible. It kind of started with like, I just want to sell my paintings. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't have an audience that's willing to pay this much. I was like, okay, I guess I'll sell prints. And then I found my current business coach. She has helped me create the strategy. I don't think that you can be a full-time creative without also being an entrepreneur and a business person. And that might not come naturally to everybody, but it's something you can learn 100%. I've made the most growth as an artist, a business person, as a human, probably in the last year because I just really started to spot where my perfectionistic tendencies were coming out. I needed things to be easy because it was, I like could not handle it if they weren't. And I don't judge myself looking back, it's like I, I thought that I knew everything I needed to know to be successful. When I decided I want to be a painter, what does that look like in life? I felt very like desperate to make it work. If I've learned anything as an artist trying to create my own business, staying in your lane is like the best thing that you can do and I'm not competing with other artists. People buy into what I do for me, which is frightening and flattering all at the same time. I've had to work hard on detaching. Even if I have a part-time job, that doesn't make me less of an artist. Just because I'm not where I wanna be like revenue-wise, when I get to that point, I don't get like a gold star, like artist plus. To me, the risk of not being able to do what like I just physically need to do is so much more terrifying than not trying because it costs a little money or like I can't see the vision at the end. To be perfectly honest, because I think it's important to be honest about this stuff, like I don't have the full financial picture happening yet, but for the first time in the four years of trying to do this, I see it. Thanks for watching my interview with Sadie Crawl. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know a little bit more about my story and want to know why I decided not to go to art school and what all this food inspiration is about, make sure you click the links below. I'll take you to some blog posts where I talk even more about that. And if you are excited to see more painting videos all about painting with vibrant color, tutorials, color mixing, all that good stuff, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you soon.